Hello and thank you for tuning in to Heart to Heart. My name is Elaine Enriquez and I have a very special guest with me today and it's Susan Summons with a message that's going to inspire you and just change the way that we look at situations at times. It encourages us and it moves us forward so we can achieve that God-given purpose for your life. Susan, thank you for uh, being here with me today in this special segment that we hold dear, which is heart to heart. And that's how I feel with you. I feel like we share uh, the heart of God, uh, the spirit of God, and we just uh, get along greatly. It's just a wonderful experience we always share when we're together. Elaine, thank you so much. And I'm humbled and yet grateful and thankful to be in this moment with you, especially on Heart to Heart. I know how important that show is for you. But you're right, we always share a very spiritual connection, a godly connection. Um, you know, we can do all things through Christ. We can do all things through Christ if we believe and we have the faith in what we're pursuing. And God doesn't make any mistakes. And what's for you is for you. He wants you to be a millionaire leader. He wants you to have a great power of the mind. He wants you to be successful. He wants you to believe in not only faith, but believe in yourself. Yes. No matter what you're going through. Because through Christ, who strengthens us, we can achieve everything that He puts in our mind, in our hands, to pursue. And there's a reason why we have this image and i like you to share some or whatever you have in your heart uh, to leave here at Heart to Heart with our audience. Well, one thing I would share with the audience on Heart to Heart, this photo, this picture is very significant. And many years ago, I had the opportunity to travel to Israel and walk on the cobblestone street of Jerusalem with a delegation from USA Olympic Basketball. And we were on the Western Wall. We toured the Jerusalem village. We walked through exactly where Jesus was walking through on the cobblestone street as people were watching his pain, his endurance, his stamina. Think about that. We need all of that right now to be a success, to stay with our goals, to stick with the journey and never give up. I took a piece of paper out. I scribbled some message on that piece of paper. I felt, folded it up and I stuck it inside of the Western Wall in one of those cracks. And I put my little piece of paper in between those cracks. I said a prayer and then I stood up. And I remember that trip. I remember that moment. It's so impactful for me because it changed my life many years ago. And I still often reflect on the endurance and the stamina and the strength and the faith. And all of those components is what we need. We're heart to heart. God wants you to not run away from your purpose, but he wants you to run to your purpose. And that's what I have been doing since I toured. And I share that with you because I've been to Israel three times. And I encourage everyone to have that opportunity to be able to be on that Western wall because there's a spiritual connection with God everywhere we are. But just know that this is where the Ark of the Covenant was on the other side. This is why the Western wall is a special place for everyone to visit. And talking about stamina, talking about having the mental capacity to keep going forth in that purpose and the journey with God, even if you have any incapacities. We talked about that. I'd like to share that story that you shared with me earlier. The power of the mind, Elaine, is so significant when you are chasing your dream, you're pursuing your goal, you're trying to accomplish a task. You have to stay in the moment. Sometimes we have to have a mindset shift. 
And we have to realize God is not going to give you a task that you can't accomplish if you have the faith and you believe. You may go through some steps while you're trying to achieve that task that is going to test your faith and test your ability to believe and have stamina. But he's never going to assign you a task that you cannot fulfill because he doesn't do that. You know, I, there are many stories that you can read about and research. There's a story about a, para, uh, a, a gentleman who was an Olympic runner and he suffered a, a, a tragic accident and his legs were amputated. And his whole life and whole task and goal was geared on running in the Olympics to win a gold medal. Tremendous training and endurance and stamina. But he had to, at that moment, on that step in his journey, he had to reflect and go back and reset his mind and reset and have a mindset shift. He never stopped believing on the task. He just thought and did a power mindset shift and said, what else can I do? Can I keep running? Is it possible? Is it real? Yes. He then sought out the expert advice of expert physicians and doctors and the appropriate medical staff to provide him an opportunity to have prosthetic legs, Met metal, iron prosthetic legs that allows him to not only stand and walk, but run. And he ended up running in the Paralympics and winning a gold medal. You see, God didn't change his journey. He didn't change his task. He just changed the way he did it. Wow, amazing. And, and that's amazing. what we have to remember in life is that sometimes the journey might change the way you accomplish the journey, but the task doesn't change. That remains. And it doesn't matter what side or what situation, what brokenness you may feel at this time. It doesn't matter. God will not change the purpose. He will not change anything, but He will help you for you to get well again in whatever area that may be if your faith is set on God and also on the journey. It'll get fulfilled in due time. Absolutely. Heart to heart. Yes. Faith. It's and believing. and believing. The mustard seed is the smallest seed that you plant in the ground, but it has the most highest abundance of fruit. Think about that. A mi microscopic seed that you plant in the ground has the biggest abundance of riches. So that's what your faith does. Amen. <laughs> we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And we're holding on to that Bible verse for whatever situation you may be facing or you may be enduring. Just have faith that with Christ, you'll be able to succeed. Thank you, Susan. It's been great. Thank you, Elaine, for having me. Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you on the next Heart to Heart. Till then.